Adventures Club, famous for the very first solo flight from Orlando to 1,500 feet short of Cleveland. <laughs> Founder of the Hathaway Brown School for Girls in Shaker Heights, Ohio. Coincidentally enough, right next to the Hathaway Brown Home for Unwed Mothers. <laughs> Hathaway Brown, independently wealthy movie star. Independently wealthy Bon Vivant. Independently wealthy me. I wish I could be all of you right now. Sitting there. Staring at me. <laughs> but here we are, in one of my favorite rooms. I brought you in here to tell you that it's wrong. It's gonna be a little bit here. Uh, these poor people, they can't see me. <laughs> well, I brought you through this very special room that I like to refer to as my master. Like this one. Ah, uh, where to begin? So many stories. Oh, look over there. Actually. That would be funny. Uh, yeah. uh, that's uh, not a good one to talk about. Let's move over here. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's hard. It's hard to talk about just one particular mask. All of a bar to and vivid memories of my travels all around the world where you see I, Hathaway Brown, and personally responsible to discover each and every one of these masks. Each one possessing a special place in my heart. Each one telling their own tale of bravery and adventure. You see, I, Hathaway Brown. Yes, for his life and love to put together this most precious collection. And thanks to me, Hathaway Brown, we can sit in this very special room and enjoy them. <laughs> Gee, maybe they should have called it the Hathaway Brown room. I said it was exactly, sir. Thank you very much. But you know what? Club politics mean what they are. Some of the other members said... Fat head. Exactly. Read that meeting. Huh? At least my masks know only they can speak. They will tell their own tale of bravery and admiration, I'm sure. Because look tight. Allergies, I understand. There's no tell it's falling out of those masks. I mean, look at it. Look at that one. Look at that mask right there, sir. Look at that. That mask right there is a good mask to talk about, actually. That mask's name is uh, Glinda. Glinda? Yes, Glinda. I never get how I, Hathaway Brown, discovered her. What? How I discovered her? I can think about it, Fred, I don't mind. What, what's your name? Dan. It's Dan, everyone. Dan, I'll speak about it, Fred, I don't mind. Where are you from? Orlando. I'll go a little slower for you two, then. <laughs> hey, that mess there, Glinda. I'll never forget where I found her. I was in my plane, the Gypsy Moth, and I was flying low over the South Pacific. There was an island It was called... Uh, Bali. Bali. Good for you, Dan. Bali. <laughs> I ran out of gas, and I... Uh, creatively landed. My plane into the middle of a native marriage ritual and that mask Linda was worn by the bride to be nothing else. Just the mask, stark raving naked, jumping up and down. I stayed for the whole ceremony. Now she symbolizes the mystic power and the mystic tranquility. Long. Tell me, Dan, I was there. Shit, right down. Orlando. <laughs> some people, some poor wooden souls. Nice to have you back in the club, by the way. Think that these masks was a strange, supernatural power. <laughs> Oh, darling, don't be frightened. You're scared at any time. All I can say is just grab onto the first thing you see. Now, ask the next two balls. The first mask. Over there. They're just simple figures, carved out of wood, horse hair, human flesh. Don't be afraid of any silly superstitions. Pardon me, dear. Now, the master. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Crash right back here. They're two of my favorites. They're from ancient Rome. Uh, ancient, ancient Greek. These Greco-Roman masks of ancient times, they symbolize specific ceremonies. The comedy mask over here with the grapes on the center of person the ancient great parts. The tragedy mask over here with the horns on the center of person the ancient horny harvest. <laughs> that people in Orlando practice daily. <laughs> But it's just not that real. Now, I know a lot of people were asking, but these masks are here. They'll be found by men of heroic proportions, both mentally and physically, if you catch my drift. <laughs> and I don't regret, but I've quite a time finding these two. Was that before or after the lobotomy? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're bitter being from Orlando and all, but I don't want to stand here in my club and be insulted. Then take a seat, pal. Take a walk. Ah! Ah! Hey! Take a walk, play on the short runway. For real men. Yeah, he's probably in the real men's room right now. <laughs> uh, 
down to right. Let's set the record straight. You take Dan, 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 Dan,